YouTube, what's up? It's your guy Sneaker Dunn back in with another comparison video. This time, y'all already seen the title and the thumbnail. I got the Gratitude 11s, aka the DMPs. Now, these did drop on the retail market today, December the 9th. Now, we're going to jump right in, but before I do that, you know, I want y'all to go and give your guy a like on this video. It takes a lot of time sometimes to get these educational videos out for you guys. And, you know, I have a family, I have a busy day and stuff like that. So it just helps a lot by you guys showing that love and hitting that like. It also pushes these videos out in the algorithm to help you guys be able to spot the differences in these educational videos now. With all that being said, we're going to jump right in to the vid. Now, the retail version of these kicks did come from JD Sports. Here's the receipt. Y'all can see, came up to like 242 after the taxes and all of that. And this is the actual UA, aka the replicated version straight from across that water, straight from China. You already know, straight from the plug, man. Now, off the back, we can see some differences in the UA box. For some reason, um, let me slide it over a little bit more so y'all can see it a little bit better. I'm seeing like this white coming from this side, and I do have two versions of the UA, and I'm noticing on both of the boxes that we got that white line, and it's kind of thicker than on the retail coming from the side, and... I'm going to stack the retail on top of the UA so you guys can see what I'm saying. Now, it is on the retail box, but however, it's a little bit more thinner of a white showing from the side of the box. I don't know. Maybe I'm just nitpicking. Y'all just let me know what y'all think about that. But getting into the size label, you can see the L Jordan 11 retro white metallic gold and black on that tab and you can see i picked it up in a size 11 this is the retail version now i'm gonna show y'all both the retail and the actual ua version get y'all a close-up on the ua label first though and then i'm gonna let y'all see maybe y'all can screenshot that and if there's any other differences y'all can let me know down in the comments of this video but we're gonna get inside the box of the kicks because that's what it's all about. Other than that, just checking out the box, you might want to watch out for. On the UA, you can just pretty much see like those rigidy type of lines under that black finish on there. And it's a little bit more of a darker black and you can see less of the rigidness on the retail. But let's get into the box so we can see what we got going on today. And see what you look out for when getting these Gratitude 11s on a resale market. And just see what you watch out for now. You do got a Waddy Yum green and white sticker in the inside of the retail. You got that thank you going across. And you have that paper with the thank yous and all that. Get that back in the box. Ain't no stamps or none up inside the box. Just to let you guys see. What is going on in ho with these kicks now? Let me slide that over a little bit and get that about the way. Get my camera back straight. Now let's get into the box of the UA. They do come from right there. Just in case you want to know, y'all can get all of that information. Now this is the UA straight from across the water. Get these about the box as well. Now in the inside of this box, we do have a different location of the YDM sticker and it look a little different. I'm going to let y'all see that. And in the inside of here, it does have a stamp up here on the top. I don't know if any other UAs coming out, I mean, retails are coming out with that stamp. So that's something y'all can be looking for. Like, I don't know if it's like no other, you know what I'm saying? retails that come with the stamp just let me know that down in the comments if y'all you know witness that or whatever in terms of the boxes is about the same it's probably like a hell smaller on the actual ua version but higgity kicks man this is what we're here to discuss 
You know what I'm saying? People can do whatever with boxes, but it's kind of hard to fool you when it's coming to these sneakers itself. Now, we five minutes in. Like I said, I don't want to keep y'all held up for a long time, but right off the back, you know what I'm saying? Under this light now, I did look at both of them under the actual na natural daylight, and you really can't see much of a difference in the outer sole. However, under this lighting and, you know, in the natural daylight, you can pretty much tell on the UA, the sole, outer sole is like a little bit more, you know, darker than on the actual retail. Let y'all see what's going on with that. Pretty much, that's a telltale sign right there, and it'll help you from getting scammed. But, however, if you don't have the um, retail in hand, it's going to be kind of hard for you to, you know, notice that. But in terms of the carbon fiber, both of the carbon fibers is about the same on both of these kicks. Maybe it's a little bit different sounding on the retail than it is on the actual um ua the ua actually sound like it's a little bit more sturdier but all in all carbon fiber look about the same it's just a little bit more of a like a piss like milky type of uh vibe going on on the retail and then like on the ua i mean on the ua is more of a pissy type of um milky type of vibe and on the retail is more of a creamy, like just, you know, like a more milkier. So versus it being like slightly yellow and milky, but I'm going to let y'all see what's going on. We got the jump mains both looking, you know, very similar under the bottom, getting around to the front of the kicks, though. You can see off top the UA is laced with the laces on the front, you know, a little different than how it is right here on the retail and on the UA, you can see it's pretty much laced up a bit tighter than on the actual retail. But, you know, you got to watch out for that because you can always, people can always, you know what I'm saying, loosen the UA up or whatever and, you know, pretty much try to fool people. But I'm going to let y'all see the third spacing. In terms of third spacing, the third spacing is like pretty much on point on both. Let y'all see both of the jump mains kind of look kind of, you know, a little bit of a stick figure look to them. And I don't know. Y'all let me know which one y'all think look better as far as on the uh, third spacing jump main Jordan signs and all of that. But both of them do got that widow's peak right there. The opening on the uh, retail look like it could be a little bit wilder than on the um, UA, but it might could be. Because, you know, the UA is tied a little bit tighter now. You do see how the stitching runs right here at the tip of the toe on both of the kicks. In terms of the padding leather, the height is pretty much the same. I'm going to put the UA over this side. I'm going to put the retail right here. The height is a little bit, you know, looks a little bit like the same in terms of the padding leather. Yeah. Mm-hmm. If anything, nah, they looking they they looking about the same height as far as the pad and leather. Now let's look at the twenty threes on the back of the kicks. Um, they look a little bit more straighter on the actual um retail than it does on the left foot of the actual UA kick. All in all, they look about the same, though. The pad and leather, you can see, is thin on both of them. I can say they got, like, a crappier quality pad and leather on these kicks this year. A little bit more flimsier than usual. The Jumpman's on both of the kicks, to me, looks pretty much the same. It looks like it's, like, a different finish on the actual um ua which is right here the one i'm waving but other than that is nothing that's too off you know they look pretty much almost the same on both of them if you ask me the tumbled leather is actually on the retail the tumbled leather um it looked good to me it's pretty sturdy 
pretty tough feeling not too soft how it is on my other ua but however yeah the tumbleness and this could vary from shoe to shoe whether if it's retail to retail or ua to ua but i would say i like the feeling of the tumble leather on the ua a little bit more than on this actual retail but all in all you know like i said that could vary and it could be different now looking at the toe box was on both of the kicks this is the ua that i'm waving right here and this is the retail over here to you guys left to me the toe box was i think in my opinion it looks about the same y'all can let me know down in the comments if you can see any differences in the toe box or the midsole for that um matter because the midsole it looks it looks the same to me now it doesn't take a rocket science to do these pretty much um you know comparisons and stuff like that i'm just trying to let y'all guys see a lot of people ain't you know able to have uh retail and a ua in their hands so i'm just let y'all i'm just trying to let y'all see what y'all gotta watch out for so y'all don't be getting got out here if y'all ever had to really purchase the uh gratitudes on a resale market now this is the uh retail and right up here when you know on the actual tumbled leather part when it comes to this uh little lace little holder right here you can see it is a stitching that's running over this part and you can see it like that it's pretty clean looking on the actual uh ua i believe is there but it's so close to the actual um lace little thing right here to the point where you can barely see it or it's not even visible period maybe that's something y'all gotta watch out for on the medial of the um ua this is how it's looking and this is how it's looking on the medial of the actual retail and in the inside you can see the same thing goes for the inside on the retail and you can actually see it a little bit more on the actual inside of the ua versus on the outer side you can barely see it if y'all see what i'm saying just let me know down in the comments but all in all man these sneakers are very very similar looking like the main thing you got to watch out for is the darkness of that um outer sole but like i said in the daylight it's not really like that pissy looking like how it look right now inside of the kick the shoe tree inserts this is how it look in the um in the u in the retail in the ua this is how it look i'm getting confused already both of these are size 11s and in the inside of the retail ah i can get it out this is how it look in the inside of the retail it looks a little bit lighter in the inside of the retail i don't know maybe y'all let me know i know it's a different shape the retail paper feel a little bit more sturdy a little bit more tough and it's a little bit more soft on the ua paper i'm gonna get those to the side let's see how i can see the laces does come you know lace different like i said but this is the um retail and this is the ua 23 in the inside looking like that and looks a little bit more dollar of a gold maybe it's just me but it looks a little bit more gold gold in the inside of the retail matter of fact i'm gonna just pull out the insole instead of trying to look at it from that angle because i'm gonna have to pull it out anyway and I'm going to let y'all see it from my outside of the kick point of view because it looks better to, you know, check it from that angle. And I'm going to let y'all see what I'm trying to show y'all. Maybe 
could be a little bit more dollar of a gold on the actual um ua i know the insole probably felt a little bit thicker and a little bit sturdier to me on the retail which is this one and is a definitely uh insole difference this is the ua and this is the retail i don't have to really say much on this one y'all can spot those differences i don't know if it's you know, I don't know if the insole really differs from retail to retail. I only have one retail in front of me. You know, I've heard that, you know, it could be, you know, a very where like in certain past Jordan 11 releases that it was kind of like, you know, a different bag depending on which factory it come from. But that's pretty much how I was looking and the versions that I got right now. Now, in terms of the inside on the footbed of the shoe. In the inside, it's looking like it's a black footbed inside there with the white strobe stitching in the inside. Let y'all see if y'all can get a good look. We do have that hole in the inside on the footbed. Yeah, it's pretty much like a metallic -y type of black in the inside of there. And this is the re this is the ua and the ua it has a stamp in the inside and it's like a gray type of um look and it does have like black stitching so that can be a telltale sign man that can be a telltale sign for real for real you know what I'm saying? Pretty much you, you, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know if it's like going to be like different from retail to retail, like I said, because you do got overseas versions, but pretty much it's black in the inside. This is the retail. This is the UA. Both of them got that little hole on the footbed, but it's differences, man. Like if y'all want to spot them, I would be wary if you was to get something that looked like this because it's different. <laughs> everything that's going on on these kicks and pretty much yeah i'm gonna get these joints black light and we're gonna pull out the black light and all of that i'm gonna turn off the lights and we're gonna see how they both looking on the black light this is the retail this is the ua i done had y'all here for almost 18 minutes but we about to be finished hit the light and hit this light Pull out the black light. And this is how the um retail is looking right here. Let me see if there's any sloppy glue down there. That's always going to be like that. You're going to see the glue and stuff like that. You can see where it's lighting up on the stitching and stuff like that. Stitching, glowing in the inside on the footbed. You can see a little bit of residue around this area right here on the retail. The laces are glowing. Jumpman third space is glowing a little bit. And on the actual UA, it looks a little bit more, a little bit more funky around the mid. So when it comes to the residue, you can see it a little bit more present. Looks like the bottom. Well, the bottom look like it's glowing on the actual retail as well, but <clears throat> let me back it up. It looked like it's a little bit more glow to me on the actual UA. Y'all let me know if y'all can spot that down in the comments. Yeah, it looked like it's a little bit more of a glow on the um on the actual UA. And the stitching is glowing on the UA as well. But you do have like a couple of guidelines. It's kind of closer right here to like the lace loops, if you can see what I'm saying. Strings is glowing. That carbon fiber. You can see a lot of that residue on there. And yup, you can see a little bit on there. Retail, but it's not as much as it is on the actual UA inside of the footbed you have no glow on there but that's how it's looking 
on the kicks. We're going to get the lights back on real quick. That's pretty much how it's looking now. I do have another version and I'm going to slide this to the side. And this is the version that I did rock to go and pick up my retail today. And you can pretty much just see the differences. It's a lot more pissier under there. Like I said, I have worn them and the carbon fiber is different. So it wasn't even a need. You can automatically tell off the back. If you run into this type of carbon fiber, just know the kicks is off and the pan level is a little bit higher on this particular UA than it is on this. Hold on. Yeah, the pan leather is a little bit higher. It's a tad bit higher versus on this actual UA. The pan leather sits about the same as the actual retail. So that about wraps up the video. We 21 minutes in and I can't let y'all see the inside of the actual footbed on this retail. I mean, on this UA right here, just so y'all can see. We can see if it's, you know, closer to the, uh, nope, it ain't even closer to the, um, actual retail than the actual other version of the UA. And so looking like that on the bottom. So they got about like the same insole and all of that. But anyway, y'all let me know what y'all think about this actual comparison down in the comments i know i was kind of like everywhere i got a lot going on right now man other than that if y'all found this video you know helpful and educational go ahead do your guy a favor hit that like button make sure y'all subscribe to the channel because i do drop dope reviews and comparison on this channel on a regular other than that is you guys sneaker done i'm out peace salute to the next time y'all I love y'all. Peace.